You see, you need to understand the nature. If you believe in the concept that you are a superior racial race, superior divine race, then what else remains, you know? The creator is giving you privilege to kill his own creation by one of the groups of the people. Now what remains left? What prerogatives left for Palestinian people? What prerogatives or what destination left for Muslims by the hands of Jews? If every Jew is, is, is understanding that he is entitled to kill any Muslim or any people and there is no trial for him or her on the day of judgment, the most important day of every religious person. So this is the mentality which I'm educating you. This is the historical aspect. They did not forgive their prophets who you are and me. Who are the Gentiles? You have no worth. You are just piece of nothing. Smithreens. You are nothing. Speck out of speck for them. And you watch their documentaries. You watch their videos. The sermons of these Jews where these elders are, you know, saying these rabbis. Look at their haze. They are living in their own world. Okay, this Messiah is coming anytime. Anytime is coming. And they are preparing all this stuff as, as something like they are getting direction or direct, you know, commands from this Dajjal. I don't know from where. It seems like something is going on. The way they are talking with, you know, this cocksureness or with a certainty. You can sense something is fishy. Something is not right with them. And the way they are proclaiming and the way they are saying that this is ours, this is ours. And nobody is coming to attack you. You know, this is a time. That's what Prophet says. The time will come. Even the stone will cry. The Jew is hiding behind him. Sorry, behind me. So get him. Get him. Oh, Abdullah, oh, the servant of Allah, get him. Even the stones will cry. You see, there is a tree by the name of Gharqad, Oxythoron, and that tree grows widely, not in a tall direction, it goes wide direction. So rabbits and all these, you know, small animals, they hide themselves from the predators. So this is the seed which every Jew is bowing or brewing under his, you know, these lands or their lawns. They are doing it. Because they say that this Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they believe in him. They believe him. Allah says, Oh Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Jews have known you more than their own sons. Jews have known you more than their own sons. But they don't want to believe in you because they have the altercation. They have this, uh, you know, contradiction or what you call agitation with Archangel Gabriel. That why Jibreel alayhi salam went to one of the Arabs. No, why not us? So we are against him. We are on the strife and consternation and confrontation against him. On the day of judgment, we are the chosen people. God, we are the children of God and Allah will be on our side against Jibreel. Astaghfirullah. This is the clash. They know Prophet Muhammad is true. They know. That is why they are bowing the seed. It is us who are doubting. It is us who are doubting. Trust me, Muslims, Jews know Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because Allah says, O oh Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they have known you more than their own sons. And you can see that in the whom fit Torah will injil. Even today's Torah and injil, Allah says, every time an era Torah and injil, you will never be able to eradicate the name of Prophet Muhammad in any era. This is what it means. The fail, the verb which is used in this Arabic ayah of Quran that you will always find the name of Prophet mentioned in Torah and Injil. And this is not the subject. Prophet Muhammad has been mentioned by the proper noun in the book of these Jewish and Judeo-Christians. So, they know you. So they are doing this. They know this all. And they are living in the haze Presuming that we will be forgiven even we do the strife and consternation against the last prophet. It's not needed. It's not required. We are the chosen and the closed children of Allah, God, Jehovah, Jehovah, and nothing will happen to Elohim. Nothing will happen to us on day of the judgment. They're living in a false hope 
with more false hopes of Antichrist Dajjal. So this is what they are doing. They're living in this mentality. And you want to talk to them? <laughs> you want to do, you know, conciliation? This is all haze. Because they are clever enough, they know how to make the difference between the occupied and the occupied territory. They are, they are the masters in these choice of words. Occupied territory or the occupied territory, quite different thing. Jew or the Jews, quite the capital Jew is a quite different thing. They know it, but you don't know what's the difference. It's the concept, it's the ideology that we are better raised than you, we are better than you all, we can do whatever we want to do with you, we can use Book of Kabbalah, the black magic against you, with the help of those demons, with the help of the shayateen, may Allah protect us from the magic of Jews, you have no idea how, the, how fierce and how you know, dangerous the magic, the black magic Jews know, they learn from Harut and Marut from the city of Babylonia, Allah says, we surely send our two messengers or two uh, angels, to test the people of Babylon and we will see that who will learn the magic and who will deny so many of them they learned the magic because it was a test from God Almighty the book of Kabbalah from where? they say Iraq, Babylonia and they are learning this magic since then and they are doing on the people but Allah says if all Prophet says in the Hadith if all of the world and Shayateen wants, want to hurt anyone and Allah does not want it, they cannot do it. If opposite, if all of these people pro want to protect that guy, Allah does not want, he will not be protected. It is our faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise their magic, you know, they, their magic is so intense that there has been a given example, there has been given, uh, sorry, there has been an example given that yeah, they, their magic can cross the whole camel into the eye of a needle. That is the way they can do the magic, literally doing so strong magic on people. Illuminati free missionaries, missionaries, Illuminati, not him, the secret societies, what are their main agendas? This is their main agendas, people changing them and then, uh, you know, making this black magic into the world. May Allah protect us. So this was a message to you that these people, their mentality like that and now they want to expand and because they are just on the brink or on the verge, on the edge of the arrival of Masih Dajjal and they want to do anything. They will not tolerate any kind of resentment. No resentment will be tolerated. All intimidacy just get terrified by us. Then, then because now they are in the stage, final stage of all this preparatory work they were doing. Now this is the time they have to eat the fruits. And if you try to become the hurdle, then you know what will happen to you. So they are just like uh, the man, you know, a person which just have one, you know, like blinkers. Like the animals, one side, that is, that we are the soul supreme. You see, when this whole political movement was started, we can divide it into three uh, eras. Started by, in the beginning, this colonialism, these colonies were made by French, Dutch, Italians, Germans, Canada, French says is ours. Huh? British, they say that America is ours. The, the other part says the French is ours. Italians say this is ours. Colonies, they made colonies. So once they made this, Australia was Holland colony before Holland's, people don't know this. So they made colonies, colonies. So they call it Britannica, Pax Britannica. Then this Pax Britannica, America got independence from the civil war, this American war between the France and all these people, they kicked them out. British were out from America, 1776. Jeffrey Thomas Jefferson declared the independence, this letter of declaration, and then all were kicked out. This was the start especially after World War II, Pax Americana.